My name's Amanda Stevens. I've been speaking professionally for just over 13 years now. I won Young Australian of the Year for career achievement in New South Wales in 2002. And that year I was invited to speak at lots of different events and I was terrible. Uh, I was shaky, I was nervous and I didn't enjoy it at all. But I had a message that was really resonating with the audience. Uh, I was really just sharing my story of how I grew my business, a marketing agency, from nothing to quite a big business. And so I had an okay message, but not so great delivery. And I decided that if I wanted to speak and impact audiences, I wanted to be really good at it. And I wanted to deliver it in a way that inspired people. So I went and found a speaking coach and worked intensively for 12, nearly 18 months. And the better I got at it, the more I enjoyed it. And the more I enjoyed it, the better I got at it. After finding my passion for speaking, which was growing every year, my business was also growing, it got to a point where it was really unsustainable to do both. So in 2011, when an opportunity came along to sell my marketing agency, I grabbed it with both hands because it meant that I could focus on what I'd become truly passionate about, and that's speaking. So since then, I've had the privilege of speaking to tens of thousands of people. It's a real privilege knowing that you're impacting people, not only helping them grow their business, but helping them grow professionally and grow personally. I grew up in Noosa, which was, an, and still is, a little slice of paradise, but I had no idea at the time. I think when you grow up in a place like Noosa, you've got no idea how amazing it is because you've got nothing to compare it to. So when high school finished, I couldn't wait to leave and head to the big smoke. Um, I headed off to QUT in Brisbane, uh, where I did a double degree in consumer psychology and marketing. I moved back to Noosa about three years ago, which has been a really interesting change, but I think has been really beneficial. I think it's made me a better speaker. Travelling and being on the road for long periods of time can be really challenging. So it's great to have a place like Noosa to come home to in between, to recharge and focus on all of the offstage stuff that is such an important part of being a speaker. I think what makes the biggest difference is what I do either side of my time on stage. So as well as a very detailed briefing process, I really take the time to understand and see not only the brand and the business, but the industry through the eyes of the consumer. And that might involve things like mystery shopping. And that enables me to deliver strategies for the brand to anticipate, to innovate, and to collaborate with their customers and almost future-proof their business. The audiences that I'm presenting to are so varied, both in industry and size. So as well as customising the message that I present on stage, I also create a bonus pack for each audience, which not only gives them tangible takeaways, uh, it also extends the learning. So this might include uh, things like a digital copy of my book for each delegate, uh, some customised worksheets and also some tailored video content. So this is not only about adding value, it's ensuring that the message has lasting impact and also that they take action. What excites me the most about speaking is not only the interactions and reactions that you get on the day, but it's the feedback from audiences after the event. So often I'll get messages and emails from people weeks or months after an event talking about the results that they're getting. And for me, that is the real litmus test of having an impact on an audience. 